Hi, this is Saharu. And this is Anna Lee. This is our first YouTube video re uh, about the jinkies. We're starting on the jinkies. Yes. Yes. And you might guess which jinky we're starting with. 41. 41. And why are we doing this, Annalie? Why are we starting with jinky 41? Well, we've been feeling a lot of kind of strange energy. I don't know if strange is the right word. A lot of angsty almost energy. And Sahara and I were having a conversation and we were both saying that we're, we were feeling this like almost anxiety, but not quite anxiety. And then the word that we figured out that really perfectly described it was anticipation. And we were feeling this kind of that we feel we're on the brink of something, but yes. we can't break through. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. Like we were, this was like a couple days ago, probably four days ago, and we always, me and her, really have abundant ideas, right? <laughs> we have so much abundant ideas, and and I think they're all great idea ideas. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but like I really think we all have really good ideas, and and. I know from my own frequency, it's been feeling like the shadow of the Jinky 41 fantasy and like living in this fantasy, like having all these dreams that we manifest together and, and just having a lot of them. But when we come down to the initiation hasn't happened, <laughs> initiation hasn't happened. So... Yeah, so we were talking about this, and then we were like, it just feels like you were like, there's all these things, like, oh, am I taking the right way? Am I, like, there, all these excuses, am I taking the, the am I taking path in the right fantasy? Because there's so many, and we feel kind of frozen, right? Like, mm -hmm. there's this idea, there's this idea, there's this idea. Well, which one do I take, you know? And... I feel like you could get caught up in that samsara, the cycle, or that, um, yeah, the cycle, the cycle of just like being in the fantasy and being frozen. And that's how the current, I mean, that's not a frequency just with us that's happening right now, but global, you, you know, mm -hmm. right? What do you think? Like the social media? Yes, I think so too. And this kind of, you know, it's almost comforting and it takes the pressure off to stay in the fantasy yes. without taking action. And like, oh, I just need to think this out a little bit more, perfect it in my mind. And it's comforting and it's kind of like, we'll start tomorrow. Yeah. Like, yeah. vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll so, start tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, yeah, that living in that fantasy is. And that's the sh shadow and we've been totally in feeling that shadow um being stuck i felt really like uh like just like edgy and you know there's a question or uh am i enough right we had that talk mm -hmm. and then it really makes sense because the jinkies program partner is number 31 which is um arrogance the shadow frequency uh leadership as a gift and humility as the city. And so you could sense that like fear of humility in a way of like bringing this idea into fruition. For me personally, I do have those two gene keys in my uh, body, I mean, in my uh, profile. So I really do feel that. And, um, but to really tap into manipulating the, the ability to manipulate the fantasy is where the leadership will start and mm -hmm. you know and if we're not leading ourselves who who's who who who's going to lead us right who we have to take action in our fantasy and that's the sensation of anticipation and um the anticipation just really going like just feeling the edge and we were feeling that we were on mm -hmm. that we had the, the frequency of the fantasy with uh, lethargy, right? Like yes. we were feeling both really tired. Um, our mind was hyperactive. Um, another thing about this uh, 
uh, 41 is that it's the start codon, initiation, the initiating codon, right? And it's the uh, ring of origin. Let me just, yeah, ring of origin. So, yeah, ring of origin. So, and it's the only one in that ring. So that's so interesting because you need the start codon of DNA to start making proteins. And it's just like that. Once you start, the mitosis happens, the replication happens, everything, life forms, like everything starts with this. And so that's why we're starting with this gene code. <laughs> it just it triggered us mm -hmm. to make this video, right? It really did, yeah, because yeah. we were like, well, it's time to start. Even if, you know, mm -hmm. obviously we're not experts, um, we're learning, but it's time to start. And yeah. so we were like, it's time to just jump in, make a video, and... <laughs> like, just do it, Nike sign. <laughs> just yes, <laughs> just do it. So, um, the, so another thing is, it's like, we, the, the scary part, I mean, not scary part, but like the, the sensation of 41 is like, you have the key, but you're not really turning the key to unlock your gift. And then, you know, so let's, and then now we're taking that initiative of unlocking and then we don't mm -hmm. even know what is going to be on the other end, but that surrendering, mm -hmm. the emptying, and then the Chinese, uh, the I Ching translation is decrease, right? So we were talking about how we have to trim the plants, take out the weed, you know, it's not... Um, like, for example, the bougainvillea that, am I pronouncing it right? Mm -hmm. Bougainvillea. The bougainvillea we had in the front yard when we got it. It's so beautiful. We, I put nice, nice soil that we composted in there and then we watered it. And next thing I know, all the flowers fell, fell off. And I was like, why? And then we looked it up and it's the, the decrease, the stress of this pressure is what makes the bougainvillea bloom. And it's just like, wow. And that's what we had. We felt mm -hmm. that pressure. That's yes. the anticipation, that pressure in yes. our roots. I love that. That's the anticipation is the gift of anticipation is being that fully in the present moment and letting go yeah. of the anticipate, letting go of all of the shoulds, shouldn'ts, all you know really like getting out of our own ego and that's what allows us to really turn the key and start yeah that's so true because it's like once i let go to the attachment of the bougainvillea flowering and just creating stress for mm -hmm. it that just happens the flower just mm -hmm. happens it exactly. just happens under that mm -hmm. pressure it's so beautiful so yeah um so the anticipation is being present in the fuller moment, not thinking about the how, not thinking about where to go in the thing, just trusting in that mm -hmm. inner, um, that gift, the fantasy, that this quick illusion of the fantasy, and then just allowing that settle yes. in, but then pressurize and just leaping, right? Mm -hmm. Leaping, leaping into exactly. it. Um, so, the anticipation we got there and then that's the gift that's the gift of you know higher frequency of fantasy right and we were talking about the city of emanation and we were like what the hell is that <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> and you know and I'm like, it's like the Big Bang. Like, we couldn't put words to it. Like, we couldn't... I, I mean, for me, it was, like, hard to articulate. Like, we kind of mm -hmm. sense the energy. But, like, what I kept getting was, like, when I... In my meditation, I would keep getting the, the start code on. The start code on. The start code on. Just the start code on creates life. Like, it's, like, with that, like, initial start. And I just can't even grasp it into words. And I was telling Anneli... That. It's like the waves before the waves, mm -hmm. <laughs> ocean waves before the waves, you know, yeah, like something the, like that, you the know, deep vibration before the waves. Exactly. So then we looked it up and 
I mean, I, I was like, it's spanda, like spanda, like the Sanskrit word is spanda. And I was like, oh, I don't even know how to articulate that. I mean, looked it up and it's the creative force. What yeah. Was it? Manifest, unmanifested creative force. What was I the think tradition? so, yeah. But anyway, look up spanda. But that's you, you, as a yogi, you know the frequency. Like, ah, oh, heart rate, like the pulse before the pulse. The, um, the breath before the, the breath, like the emptiness right before you're taking that inhale right um that is emanation so at the end you're so in the moment that you are birthing shedding dying all at once and really living the sound of om like in a moment i feel like it's mm -hmm. the right emanation yeah. yeah so that's that's some of the things that um we had um in our um in our conversation but um so when you think about 41 it's located in the um the root chakra and the physiology is the adrenals so you could feel the adrenals we were like when you're yeah. in the fantasy you do have lethargy like you do feel tired like i mean we felt tired we did like, yeah, for, like a drained. week before we mm -hmm. broke, yeah and then we had this conversation i think four days ago and then ironically, the video is, we planned for this day. And then what was happening today? And then it's the full moon. The today. full moon. So. In, uh, in the Western astrology, it's the Vedic. Uh, in the Astro uh, Western uh, astrology, it's the Cancer full moon. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's also Cancer full moon. I mean, Capricorn, I'm sorry, Capricorn full moon. So you could feel that Saturn energy of the roots, ironic. And then for the nakshatra, um, it's the, what is it? Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it, the Uttara, uh, Uttara Ashada Nakshatra. Okay, Uttara Ashada Nakshatra. So, um, and then guess what? Root chakra, it's represented by the Elephant test. Yeah. yeah. So it's like all symbolism coming up, coming up, coming up. And then like the universal consciousness has made us sit here. And that's why like it's so important to tap into these symbolism and archetypes so that the universe could communicate through us, you know, through the points, through mm -hmm. words through frequency and that's how we started huh like yeah. feeling our physical body we felt some kind of pressure mm -hmm. and then we were able to i'm like let's talk about how did we start we were like let's really explain into one word how we're feeling mm -hmm. and then it was like not enoughness and i'm like i feel like i'm on the edge 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 and then it was like anticipation so and then you have the gene keys to tap and in, look into what is the frequency and then you get to talk about learn what kind of frequency is around you is communicating through you so you could really get into um living in alignment in the moment in the moment um so to tap into this energy even more we came up with um a couple things that we both like without communicating mm -hmm. with that, with each other yeah <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Same thing. It, it's been pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, I know. Right? It really it's has so been. so crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so what we both were really coming back to is the prana apana. Right? Yes. And our prana, our life force energy moving up and then the apana, mm -hmm. which is kind of like the decreasing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You know, and kind of represented in through your digestion and like moving down and expelling what's not serving us. Exactly. Like really cutting away what's not serving getting us. Getting rid of. Mm -hmm. Getting rid of. Getting rid of to create room for the new. Exactly. Exactly. And we've been feeling, it's so funny. So we were like, what Kriya? Because uh, what Kriya do you want to do this month? And, you know, and then and she was like, Prana Pana uh, Navi Kriya, right? Mm -hmm. Was that one? Yeah. And I was like, holy crap, I, you should see my uh, whole search. It's been whole um, Prana Pana balance. And then she, we were just started cracking up because it's just, yeah. we haven't even talked no, about it. No, we haven't talked about it. And we were both just 
but we're I yeah we're just so tapped into I feel like that <laughs> frequency this frequency of like 41 of 41 and that's the whole you know to build up to start to grow what can you get rid of get rid of exactly it? yeah yeah and it com all comes down to getting rid of getting rid of like, and like big it's it's big too it's not just getting rid of like and this stuff is good getting rid of maybe your bad little daily habits but it's really what can you get rid of like what limiting beliefs how can we get rid of the ego like really going deep here what can we yeah. get rid of to and grow it, yeah yeah and it could be a real physical getting rid of it can be yeah that's always like good me too. Quit contemplating getting rid of my 10 hour job yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah to create room so yeah it's so interesting and then you made some getting rid of mm -hmm. you know you you it's like we just need to realign make sure what's important is right here and then to check in what's important yeah check really in. be checking in with yourself and tuning into that yeah that really how you're feeling yeah and then so Coming back to the prana upon up, that balance, vitality is created. That's where that spawned out, that initial. So, right? Mm -hmm. Like the wave has to completely die, right? The ocean wave has to completely die and flatten out and gather its energy to pop up again, right? I mean, that's, that's for mm -hmm. me, that's how I, like the pulse, the breath has to completely, completely, completely empty for us to really get that nice big inhale, right? And uh, so, I don't know, I just feel like this has been, it's just so cool. It's just been such a beautiful synchronicity and universal language that's been like going through us and communicating through this, what do you call it? The cloud. That's what I always call it. The downloads from the clouds that we've been getting. <laughs> yeah, that's a great way to describe it though. Right? Like mm -hmm. we've been getting a download from the cloud. Um, so, um, what was that again? So we talked about the elephant task. And then, um, yeah, we talked about, yeah, this is the pressure to evolve. It's basically our pressure to evolve, right? And how we could get rid of uh, the ancestor karma. Actually, I was talking to, this is a little, I didn't share this with you on all yet, but like I was talking to my dad yesterday about, you know, he, he always would always say, oh, I'm always ahead of, ahead of trend, ahead of thinking, like, right? And I was like, you know, and then, and, um, but then he would blame for not taking action. And that's another, you know, frequency of the fantasy. Like you have these gifts and that's why like 31 or 41, our ability to um, see the future, right? See the future. So we, we all have this ab ability to tap into the cloud, but who's gonna actually download it and take action, right? So right now, probably so many people have the exact same frequency going on and then what do we do with it? So. This is our expression of our 41, the video. Mm -hmm. um, and taking initiative of how to share the practice and the vibration in an archetypal way, in our physical body, and through meditation. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so um, one of the archetype, oh, I, I feel, and then we'll pull a tarot card. Mm -hmm. And then um, before I forget, I kind of wanted to um, go over the acupoint for this, um, this has been so amazing. Um, it's so amazing. It's uh, it's called acupresence, and I love meditating and pressing on these points as I tap into the frequency of the gene keys. And um, oh, I just it's amazing. So please, uh, it's called sacred sites. If you don't know it, just Google it, and then like go onto their website, and then maybe I could put the website on the YouTube on the bottom, but I will do that. That's what we'll do. Yeah. yeah, I will do that. But it's seriously the best book that I have found in my, uh, you know, rabbit hole, <laughs> but it's a spleen five point 
And it's so funny, my right, left ankle is the one that gives me problems. But when I press this, the right ankle is a lot more tender. And it's right in front of yours. So, I mean, I would not show, but yeah, check it out. It's spleen five, it's spleen five, okay? And then um, when I press it, it's on the right foot. And it's the way, me not stepping into the world, I feel like is the one. Like I'm stable in myself, but I'm not stepping out. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not trusting quite, quite yet. So. These, I mean, interpretation, really feeling that uh, uh, frequency through this is just beautiful. So check it out. Um, and yeah, so please check out Sacred Sight. And um, for the, the another one that I'm just so, uh, the Animal Deck, Animal Spirit Guidebook. So this um, by Kim Crane, she, um, she makes a lot of beautiful tarots and different cards. But this is probably really one of my beautiful. favorite. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you, do you have her tarot too? Or no? I don't. But you've seen it, huh? Yes. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so yeah. Beautiful. But so I just beautiful. love this one. And then the energy that I feel like represented is the phoenix. It's so beautiful. She does all her drawings. But and then there's a root chakra, root chakra, because um, she goes breaks it down by the chakras and the elements. So. Really trigger, but it is the first chakra. I mean, I really, if you read it, it's about really tapping into that navel energy, the fire, the tapas, you know, the discipline of burning away, not serving you to ignite the fire of taking action. And yeah, it's a sign of transformation. It's a pressure to evolve. So this is all for me, the representation archetype for me to tap into this gene key 41 and and um and then we'll make more videos throughout this month or a few weeks about this gene keys maybe the uh, the kanji for it and uh we'll go more into it so stay tuned and we'll have our kriya meditation too so and then Annalie, yes, yes go ahead. it's the elemental power tarot um by melinda lee holm and it's just really beautiful it's elemental so there's no um, pictures of people in it at all. It's just mm -hmm. really beautiful. I feel like really helps me feel connected um, to all of the elements. But the cards that I pulled earlier that really resonated with me for this 41st Gene Key is the first one was this, the Ace of Coins. And so this was just like exactly what we've been talking about, right? It's like the start of manifesting right the coins are the earth element the mm, physical manifest world so it's really like the start of what you're manifesting and like it even looks like it like like a golden seed right like plant it um full potential is there and then like we've been talking about right that feeling of that's like the seed, right? Like right already before knows. it grows. And it already knows. Mm -hmm. it and already it already knows. knows. It already knows what it's going to be, right? You don't have to tell knows. the seed what it's yeah. going to be. And so... Just um, trusting it. Oh, trusting that's so it. good. That's and so good. Yes. And so that one really resonated. It's so good. And then the other one that really, that I pulled that really resonated with the 41st Gene Key is this, the Six of Wands. So coming back to that also, that like, fire element mm. that we saw in the phoenix card that inner fire right with our third chakra um and is this the six of wands is really like trusting your intuition um and it's all about that like that deep knowing that's inside you and you know you don't need to doubt you already know and just and it really connects to i feel like with the ace of coins too because it's like that you write like the golden seed, like you don't have to tell it what it's gonna be, it already knows, and you already know, it's all already inside you. Yeah. So just connecting to that, not overthinking, and that really trusting yourself. Yes, yeah, oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so. and then I do like, I mean, I get kind of scared of uh, the tarot, the traditional tarot deck, so these are so beautiful, mm -hmm. like looking at them. Every time yes. she does card pulling for me, I love. Yeah, it's really the images beautiful of the cards. deck. It's, it's this, so the pretty. elemental power. It's so pretty. Um, so, should we do our meditation? I think so, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, 
the meditation uh, is pr for uh, prana apana. Okay, and then the meditation, I will write the um, the mantra on below uh, the the words, but it's prana apana shushumna hari hari har hari har hari har hari. So we're basically prana, as we talked about, is the energy. Apana is the energy of release, the waste, the elimination. And Shushumna is the central channel. So it just, it's, I feel like it's just like perfect. It just, mm -hmm. It's been a mantra that's been playing in my head. You take a deep breath and then you'll chant that same verse three times. And then in that one breath, right? And then you take another inhale and then continue. So the gaze, so these, uh, uh, this uh, meditation doesn't have, I, you know, doesn't have any, uh, I couldn't search it on library or anything. So drishti, I'm not gonna specify. So whatever drishti you wanna do, I just feel like when I was chanting this, uh, uh, the version of the mantra, I, I just felt so powerful. I love how it exercises the pranayam. I like how I ex uh, exercises the throat by being vocal, the chanting, uh, massaging the meridian, and then the feeling of the, the word, actual word, the prana, prana, shushumna, God, right? God, hari, had, right? And that navel, whole, right? Uh, I just feel like it just represents the whole thing really well. And then the gaze that I've been playing with is the tip of the nose. And the mudra is not specified, so whatever mudra that you feel connects to you, um, um, you know, maybe you want to do a yoni mudra to represent the, yes, uh, Anali has um, the yoni mudra to represent the, uh, the womb or, um, or maybe you want to use your middle finger to connect to that discipline, the Saturn, right? So whatever connects to you, go ahead and do it. Uh, but we'll play the mantra. Um, it's on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. It's mm. called Prana Apana. Yeah, yes. on SoundCloud. So, um, so we'll tune in before coming in. So if you're new to Kundalini Yoga, we always tune in. Um, tapping into that creative force within us and around us by chanting Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three times. Okay, so go ahead and rub your hands together and inhale, draw the thumb to the sternum, sternum against the thumb, lengthen spine. And then exhale, send the energy down into your roots. Inhale, feel the energy expand your body. And exhale. One more, just like that. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale the tuna. Sigurdevename, Ad Kreename, Chigat Kreename, 
Inhale. Holding the rectum, sex organ navel up and squeeze that energy. Bring the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Squeeze into the pineal and pituitary gland. And exhale. So that one and six connection keeps coming back. Fantasy, bringing it down to the roots. And we'll start the meditation again. You're gonna take a deep inhale and repeat that mantra three times. And then um, as you're chanting, you're gonna use that whole inhale. <laughs> and then you'll take another inhale, repeat it three times, okay? So any chirsti, any gaze you like, and then we'll start and then just push, push straight. Oh, Sorry. yes, no, you're good. Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay, here we go. Whatever mudra or mantra you like. Fana, apana, shishima, hari, 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 Hari 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 Hari
everything out at the bottom of your exhale pull the rectum sex organ navel up and in squeeze it in feel the emptiness feel the shunya the still point the zero point the spanda take a deep inhale and exhale 
Oh, I'll shake it up if you like. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a little over seven minutes, so quick meditation. You could do it anytime, you know? You do it whatever you like. But yeah, and you'll have more. We'll have our Kriyas posted mm -hmm. and um, Kriya for... Uh, what was, what was the exact title of it? Prana Pana Navi, what was yours? Um, it's just the Navi Kriya for Prana, prana that's Pana. Right. Yeah. And then mine would be uh, Prana Pana Balance. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, check it out. Um, we'll post it pretty soon. And please check out the, the information below for any of the, the books or uh, mantra that we talked about. And then also, before I forget, this uh, mantra is also it cultivates self-healing, creating healing uh, uh, through our body, through others. Just really, I mean, that's the whole point of, um, you know, you see those like, gosh, uh, the Kung Fu masters or um, uh, the ancient masters. I mean, they're still in, in Philippines and Indonesia, but like people that know how to balance the prana pana or the yin and yang really know how to send healing and create healing so really this is the initiation for everything so that's why it's so beautiful that we're doing this but again we'll come to our finish by sending a satnam take a deep inhale exhale everything out we'll tune out with one satnam inhale Sat Thank you so much. Tapping into our true identity. Keep following us on our jinky journey. We're not claiming to be masters of anything. We're just sharing our yeah. own frequency as it comes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Learning and yeah, you're invited to come learn with us. Exactly. And then you learn by teaching mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. and sharing. So, okay. See you soon. Bye-bye. Satnam. -bye.